Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm sharing some newborn sleeping tips, gentle ways to teach your baby to sleep. My baby boy is currently seven weeks old and sleeps a five to seven hour stretch at night, followed by two to three hour stretches until morning. How did I do it? I follow Dr. Harvey Karp's five S's of sleep. Swaddle, suck, side, swing, and shush. Let's start with the first S, swaddle. I like to keep layers light when my baby is swaddled. You have a couple different swaddling options. I usually go for a classic swaddle blanket or a swaddle with a zipper. This is how I use the swaddle blanket. I start by folding one corner in and that's where I lay his head. Then I tuck his left arm to the side and take the left side over then under him. I take the bottom corner and bring that up and over his right arm which I also tuck to the side. Then I take the last corner and bring it up and over and then under him and back to the top where I tuck it in. He was suddenly hungry when I swaddled him but rest assured he was fed and calmed immediately after. Then comes suck. Babies pacify whether it's on you, their thumb, a bottle, or a pacifier. To activate their calming reflex, they need to suck on something. At four weeks, I introduce the pacifier. I gently coax my baby into accepting it by pressing around his mouth and then placing it in his mouth. Another effective way is to bait and switch. Switch out the breast or bottle when they're at the end of a feed with the pacifier. The next two, side and swing, are self-explanatory. You place them on their side and swing. And lastly, shush. I use white noise for this. The idea is to have a loud shushing noise, similar to the sound of a running shower or a fan. The five S's are meant to activate the calming reflex. Once the baby's reflex kicks in, then you can start implementing this method. I lull my baby using the soothing S's and then, once he's almost asleep, I place him gently in the bassinet, so he's drowsy but awake. If they fuss as soon as you put them down, then pick them up and let them fall asleep in your arms for a moment. As soon as they do, place them down again. The goal is for them to open their eyes for a split second and then fall asleep. That second of being awake before falling asleep is very important. That is how they learn to sleep. If they fuss or cry, then offer a feed, soothe again and repeat until they do it. It takes a lot of patience, but once they do this, they'll do it again and again. Then it comes to a point where you place them down drowsy but awake and they sleep without picking up and putting them back repeatedly. Another key part of sleep training is establishing a good bedtime routine. Our bedtime routine goes as follows. First, a bath. Then, wrap in a snuggly towel and massage with a warm oil. Quick tip, size up for bedtime diapers and go for a dry variation of diaper. Then I swaddle and nurse my baby as I walk slash bounce. This is especially helpful for babies that are colicky or fussy in the evenings. Once he's fed and calmed, then I place him in the bassinet and I let him fall asleep. This will be his longest stretch of sleep in 24 hours. Right now, that's between 5 to 7 hours. I hope this video helps you all get better sleep with your little ones. This is my second baby and my first also slept well with this method. If you like this video, please let me know. Your support motivates me to keep posting. Leave any video requests in the comments below. I have a few requests I'm working on, so be sure to have your notification bell turned on for future uploads. Until then, see you next time. Bye-bye!